Hi, Steve Bowen from Channel 4.5 FM with our music blog and with us today. It's a, you know, it's a good day. It's always a good day. Man. Joe Joe Mason here. <laughs> so you, you just broke out with your brand new single uh, about three or four months ago. I did, yeah. And it went skyrocketing up the charts. Which was surprising, you know. When we started this whole thing, like uh, me and my producer Dan Swinimer, uh, he's based out of Vancouver uh, with Manic Down Productions. He he took a chance on me. He was he had no reason to, but he did. And uh, we were hanging out when we started this whole thing. We were expecting, you know, maybe bend the needle a little, little bit with top 30, maybe, maybe top 40. And we'd be happy with that. That would be a successful first single, right? Mm -hmm. um, but as we're watching it climb, we're just kind of sitting there looking at each other, more scratching our heads, more <laughs> dumbfounded than, than anything. So it, it, was, it was a crazy, crazy experience to watch it. Watch no, it no. The top 10. Before your music career started, what were you doing? Um, I was a hockey player. Um, I was a hockey player, bartender, believe it or not, garbage man at the same time. Um, I had some back injuries out in Vancouver, Vancouver Island. Uh, herniated a disc. Oh boy! And that one, that one ended my career. I couldn't work. I couldn't really do anything. Just my whole life just kind of stopped. You know, and I didn't really know how to. How to handle it my parents were living with me in vancouver island they moved over to vancouver on the mainland and uh we've got to a point where i like i said i couldn't work i couldn't play hockey anymore i didn't start going down this you know spiral that wasn't the best and my mom called me from vancouver one day and said Joe, i want you to come home we'll take care of you we'll we'll get you back better um so i did did my rehab everything a couple years later i started working at another bar and um uh, still wasn't the best me that I could be, you know what I mean? I was still, uh, believe it or not, I was 270 pounds. And really? Yeah, man. I was, wow. I was, I was literally the worst version of myself that I could, I could ever imagine. So, um, one of my friends one day, uh, I worked with at the bar. She says to me, George, I want you to come to my Christmas party. This is December 2013. I'll never forget the date. Um, I love this story, by the way. Crazy, right? It is crazy. So it gets, it gets, it gets crazy. So. Um, so I show up at this party, the bottle of moonshine. Yeah. Put it on the table, through the crowd, through the crowd of people, because we're doing shots of moonshine. That's how we do at Christmas parties, right? I don't know about y'all, but that's how we do at Christmas parties. Um, so we're doing shots of moonshine. All of a sudden, through the crowd, comes an arm around my shoulder. I'm thinking, what the heck? Who, who, who is this guy? I, and my producer now, I had no idea who he was at the time, says to me, man, you are my new best friend. I was arguing with a friend earlier. We were writing a song. We were arguing about a line in a song saying, uh, sip a moonshine out of a jar. I'm thinking, okay, uh, Ray. He, his friend didn't believe that people did that. Mm -hmm. There's the proof, moonshine in a jar, wins the argument. We're taking selfies. We're sending it to this guy. You son of a, you know what I mean? Yeah. You son of a B. And, uh, and so we, that was our talking point. We got to hanging out, got to chilling. And, Throughout the night, after copious amounts of moonshine, we uh, he kind he kind of said to me, he said, "Jojo, it's too bad that you're not a singer because you got this something, you got this yeah. something. I don't know what it is to this day. I don't get it." But he continued to tell me to tell me that, and I said, "Well, you know, I could try. I could try to sing." I mean, he said, "Well, yeah, right, dude. Do you even sing?" Like, <laughs> do you, do you sing? I, I, so I kid you not. I kid yeah. you not. I said to him, "I said." Well, I sing in the shower. You know, I sing in the shower. I sing in the car a lot. I mean, he just looked at me, laughed a little bit. So I persisted, persisted, persisted. End of the bottle of moonshine, end of the night, he gives me his card and says, you know what? If you got the stones to call me tomorrow, I'll give you an hour of my time. So what'd you sing in the studio? First song? Yeah. We, I got, I downloaded a, a, a karaoke track version of Zach Brown Chicken Fried. Oh, nice. And so that song will forever have a special place in my heart, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That was the first song I've been in the studio ever recorded, and um, he still has the, he still has that that song, and it will never be released. <laughs> well, 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 maybe. <laughs> One of the greatest stories in country yeah. music, starting off at a Christmas party, you didn't <laughs> want to attend. I, I didn't want to go. I was planning, well, it was a Friday night. I think it was a Friday. It might have been a Saturday night, but regardless, a weekend night, I, I could work at the bar. I could, I could maybe, yeah. you know, 200, 300 bucks. Yep. That night, it would have been a it would have been a pretty good night, you know. But I just decided for some reason, you know, I, sh I sh she was right. I should cut loose a little bit and get out of my comfort zone and have some fun and just kind of enjoy myself for once. It was it had been a while since I had done that, so um, so it was really nice to go meet meet people and 
I woke up in the morning, for some reason, I just decided to make the call. I, I don't know why, something to me told said, Jerry, what, what do you got to lose? Fate. Fate. So you've got a brand new song out. We do. What's it called? It's called Good Kind of Love. And it is, it, it's a song that I had a hand in writing, which was, which is one of the coolest things to have one of my songs now. Uh, being played on the radio, which is, is pretty, yeah, it's pretty it's, exciting, man. <laughs> where were you when you first heard your single on the radio? When I first heard my single on the radio, I was uh, at my producer's house. I was at Manic Down Production Studio, and um, I remember, I remember so clearly. The song came on, and and I started to shake. Well, yeah. Shake. Actually, no, that was the second time. The first time I heard my song on the radio, okay, you're not gonna believe this, was the premiere of uh, was, was the. My, my producer had this big party at the Roxy, uh, downtown Vancouver, we had this big party. Mm -hmm. um, we had a whole bunch of people come out, a whole bunch of my friends, a whole bunch of my family come out to this party. And um, and it was after my set was like what? almost what? done, I had just finished my song, one of the DJs at JRFM had mm -hmm. flipped the switch to JRFM, so it was playing throughout the speakers. And I had no idea this was happening. Dan set this whole thing up for me. Um, he yeah. set this whole thing up and all of a sudden it flips over. And the, the DJ comes on and says, this is JoJo Bass's premier debut single. And I'm standing on stage. Everybody starts crying. On the, and, then I st <laughs> and then I start crying. I have to sit down. I would catch my breath a little bit. I'm saying, oh, man. You know, I'm, it was wild, man. But the first time I heard myself, I was with, with I was like on a regular day. I was at the studio. And, and uh, like I said, I started to shake. And it's still, to this day, man, um, on the, even on this trip, sometimes it'll pop on the radio and I'll, I'll just kind of like shake my head and like well yeah what the heck is going on man but it's it's the coolest oh, it's good. the coolest experience I've ever had and, no, no. and I, I don't I don't want it to stop so. well it's not going to stop your journey is just starting I hope so and you're going all the way up, <laughs> I hope so man. thanks for joining us on the uh, chat pleasure. music blog my Jojo Mason on channel 4.5 FM